Good day everyone! Hello grade 7 learners! I hope you are ready for another music lesson as we continue our journey in exploring the music of our country, Philippines. For this particular video, here are the most essential learning competencies. First, identifies musical characteristics of selected Philippine festivals and theatrical forms. Second, describe how a specific idea or a story is communicated through music in a particular Philippine musical theater. And for our learning objectives, first, identify some selected examples of Philippine theatrical forms. Second, describe the selected examples of Philippine theatrical forms. Lastly, Appreciate the significance of Philippine theatrical forms as part of our culture and tradition. Before we move on to our lesson, let us have a short recap or review on the previous module. Let's see if you can still recall and be able to get the correct answer. What you are going to do is try to unscramble the letters in order to get the correct answer. First, it is a day or period of celebration Typically, a religious commemoration. The correct answer is festival. Second, it is a type of festival held in honor of a certain saint or patron. The answer is religious. Third, a Philippine festival, which means make-believe atis, wherein participants portray the natives of Kalibu Aklan called atis or aitas. That festival is called Ati Atihan. Fourth, it is one of the most popular festivals in the country due to Baguio's cool climate and as a tourist destination. The correct answer is Panagbenga. Fifth, this festival is held in Davao every third week of August in celebration of Thanksgiving for good harvest with parade floats of fresh fruits and flowers and street dancing with colorful tribal costumes and accessories. The answer is Kadayawan. So those are some of the important concepts that have been discussed in the previous module. I believe you are now ready for our next lesson. Please watch the video and try to identify what art form is being shown. That video clip is an example of a Philippine theatrical form, and that is our topic in this video. For us to have a better understanding about our topic, let us first define the word theater. What is theater? Theater is a collaborative form of performing arts that uses live performers to present the experience of a real or imagined event before a live audience in a specific place, often in a stage. General musical characteristics of a theater. 1. It has a catchy music in a popular style. 2. It consists of solo songs, duets, choruses, and ensemble. 3. Orchestra or band accompaniment is used. 4. There is a spoken dialogue. 
Now let's move on to the different Philippine theatrical forms and their characteristics. First is the Comedia. Comedia is one of the colorful theatrical traditions in the Philippines. This is a theatrical form that describes the conflicts of Christians and Muslims. Comedia comes from the 16th century Spanish Comedia or play. It was used by the Spanish to spread Christianity. It is a play written in verse which uses traditional methods of marcha or march for entrance or exit, batalia or choreographed fighting, and magica or magical effects. There are two types of comedia. The first one is called secular comedia. It is usually performed in town celebrations. An example of secular comedia popularized in the 1600s is the Moro Moro that used stories that revolve around kings, queens, princes, princesses, animals, and supernatural beings. Most of the time, it portrays the clash between Christians and Filipino Muslims. Here is an example of a secular comedia. The second type of comedia is called religious comedia. It is mostly performed to enhance religious festivities. Next, it focuses on the life of religious icons like Jesus Christ, Saint Michael, and the other patron saints. Examples are Siete Palabras and Sinaculo, the lengthened presentation of Passion of the Christ. Next is a sample video of a Sinaculo. Another Philippine theatrical form is the sarsuela. Sarsuela is an art form of lyric theater drama, comical in nature, and it is incorporated with singing, dancing, and dialogue. The word sarsuela originated from Spain and was made popular in the Philippines in the 1800s. It portrays the typical Filipino realities and stories and social relations which viewers can relate in their lives such as elections and feasts, marriage and family, vices and values. One of the most famous sarsuela in our country is Walang Sugat by Severino Reyes. Magawit ang magsayawan Ay magsayawan
Another Philippine theatrical form is the vaudeville. Vaudeville is another stage show that became popular during the Japanese period based on the French vaudeville. These were called stage show during the Japanese occupation and later called variety shows. Vaudeville was developed because city growers wanted to uplift their emotional stability from the unusual stage acts to a stage presentation featuring comedy, musical, monologue, skits, impersonators, acrobats, and even magical acts. Vaudeville form musical trends and musicians performers, and performance genres. The entertainers help to make jazz and blues popular and admired in our country. Among the popularly vaudeville stars were Tugo and Pugo, Bayani Casimiro, Deli Atay Atayan, Dolphy, Rogelio de la Rosa Leopoldo Salceda Katie de la Cruz and Atang de la Rama So those are examples of Philippine theatrical forms. Again, we have Comedia, Sarsuela, and Bodabil. For our next activity, Let's have a short quiz. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Write your answer in your activity sheet. That's it for today's lesson. Thank you very much for watching and tune in for our next video lesson. Again, I am Honorato F. Ico, your MAPE teacher.